And the first thing is, I'm going to give you a bunch of experiential exercises. Think of how you would apply whatever you're talking about in your meetings, whatever training programs you're doing. How would you take your content or the information that you're delivering and make it fun? So that people, one, remember it, and you get your return on investment back in the time spent. Like, literally, when you walk out that door, you'll be able to do any one of the exercises that I'm about to do with you. Okay. All right, everybody got a sheet of paper. This is going to be easy, and you're our leader right now, because you just got hired, so you got to demonstrate the points, buddy. All right? No pressure whatsoever. I mean, all right. The expectation is simple. At the end of this job, your piece of paper should look exactly like mine. At the end of this job, your piece of paper should look exactly like mine. I have complete confidence in everybody in this room that that will be the case, okay? All right, so go ahead, fold your piece of paper in half. Simply tear off the top right corner. Okay? Fold it in half again. Tear off the top left corner. Top left, top right, top left. Then fold it one more time. This is going to be the last tear and tear off the top right corner. That's it. So we tore off the top right, the top left, top right. <laughs> you about to get fired, Jermaine. <laughs> Look, he's already admitted poor performance. And we're only talking about a sheet of paper. Really? Okay. So how many of you, by a show of your hands, have complete confidence that your paper looks exactly like mine, as the expectation was? Okay, a couple of brave souls, that's good. That's good. Okay, all right. Okay, well, let's take a look and let's see what you came up with. You should have a hole in the middle. Miss <laughs> Davis apparently was not paying attention. <laughs> Nor was Marisa not paying attention. Okay, um, is that she? Miss Aaliyah, Miss Aaliyah, overachiever, overachiever. <laughs> but still not getting what I want. Uh, okay, all right, now let's, let's get down to the, now we got something close here. This is, this is good, this is good. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got two on the top, two tears here, and that looks like three, so if you would, I don't know, all right, you would get rid of this guy. <laughs> She represents your table. Okay. I like that team support. Until she doesn't do right, then you already throw her on the bus. So the question is, why is it that so many look around your table? You got so many different outcomes. Why is that the case? You were not clear. I was not clear. So, so oh, I was too fast. So you're blaming me for your incompetence. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so I was going too fast. Not enough details. Not enough details. Now, there's a piece of paper. I mean, <laughs> which left, which right? My left, my right, your left, your right. It's the same. <laughs> Notice how it was you, 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 and you. Now, the question is, right, right. Now, the reality is, how often does this happen in our organizations? When we're giving and setting expectations, we give them just like this, and even though we have a picture of what we think is in our mind, what it should look like, it comes out like this. And then as a manager, as a leader, who do I start to blame for the outcomes that came out like this? My employees. And then what do they start to think about me, going back to the engagement stuff, what do they start thinking about me as a leader? I'm incompetent, because it was me. I didn't give enough detail. So the reality is you're right. What could, now is the responsibility solely mine as a leader? You could have asked questions. You're exactly right. Why did no one ask any questions? I did. <laughs> I did. I got this, right? Great point. So how often do, when we're in organizations, do we ask questions? How often is the culture even set up to ask questions? What fears do we have in our head? What fears do we propagate in our employees, in our teams, that create this gap where all of a sudden we are ne now set up for failure regardless? And again, now this is just basic stuff, but then you start throwing in diversity and 
ethnicity and all these other ways of communicating and not understanding each other, and all of a sudden you start getting a very complex system. And these little ideas and little trinkets and little experiential exercises bring it to the point real quick and real fast. We communicate in very vague terms, and so the results you're going to get are very vague.